ಪರಲೋಕಮಂದುನ್ನ ಮಾತನ್ರಿ ಮೀಕೆ ಮಾರಾಧನ ದಿವ್ಯವಾಕುರೂಪ ಯೇಸು ಕ್ರೀಸ್ತು ಪ್ರಭು ಮೀಕೆ ಮಾರಾಧನ father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all Amen. my dear brothers and sisters it's the third week of easter times that we are celebrating and we still remember about the death and resurrection of Jesus and the readings that we have been listening to during these days of masses are from the resurrection accounts Jesus appears to his disciples but somehow the disciples see him but do not believe and they take a long time to believe and yet they still entertain doubts in their minds they are confused of course we know that doubt and confusion was completely removed when they received the holy spirit on pentecost and today we too doubt we too disbelieve in jesus although on one side we believe we have received baptism we believe that the word of god is truly the word of god and yet there is disbelief in our minds and hearts about many things so let us today as we begin this mass ask jesus for forgiveness for all our unbelief i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have sinned so much <coughs> my thoughts <coughs> my angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Let us pray Grant we pray almighty God that putting off our old self with all its ways we may live as Christ did for through the healing paschal remedies you have conformed us to his nature who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever kindly take page number 124 124 from the new testament a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 6 verses 8 to 15 stephen full of grace and power the great wonders and signs among the people then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freed men as it was called 
Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others of those from Cilicia and Asia stood up and argued with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people as well as the elders and the scribes. Then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses handed on to us. And all who sat in the council looked intently at him, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. For our response, kindly turn to page number 652. Psalm 119, verses 23 to 30. Let us recite together. Even though princes sit plotting against me, your servant will meditate on your statutes. Your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. When I told of my ways, you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts. And I will meditate on your wondrous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Put false ways far from me and graciously teach me your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set your ordinances before me. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation. Statutes, and I will observe it to the end. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. The bread from heaven, after the miracle of feeding the people, the beginning of discourse. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples but that his disciples had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that endures to 
do not work for food that perishes but for food that endures for eternal life which the son of man will give you for it is on him that god the father has set his seal then they said to him what must we do to perform the works of god jesus answered this is the work of god that you believe in him whom he has sent the gospel of the lord May the words of the gospel wipe away our sins amen <coughs> yeah friends it is two weeks since we celebrated the easter the greatest feast in christianity we had so many ceremonies meaningful if we think of them that bring out the aspects of passion death and resurrection and now jesus presence is shown in the acts of the apostles the reason jesus his power and his the power of the spirit Jesus presence risen presence is in the church working out the plan of god and our business is to believe this is the work of god that you believe in him whom he has sent and whose mysteries you have just recently celebrated it is a challenging situation in the present historical conditions you remember that jesus said if they have treated me they'll treat you the same way if they have persecuted me they will persecute you and this is the test case of what jesus said Blessed are you when people revile you and do all sorts of things against you and persecute you because of my name and here it is almost at the very beginning of the church the words of Jesus coming true and this is true discipleship even in the midst of difficulties and trials like Stephen looking up to the risen presence of the lord seated at the right hand of the father next few days you will get this and together with this there is another presence inserted into us during this week eucharistic presence and therefore the conclusion is in the history of today 20th april 2015 jesus presence risen presence is ever present working out his plan through his spirit and that is presence where is and today there is eucharistic presence in our midst are we willing to believe with our whole heart soul and mind or is a challenge to his disciples or just be satisfied with the rites rituals cult and does not touch really our hearts and minds and lives that that we may believe that he is with us truly he is working out in spite of all the difficulties the present situation of the church is no better than early situation there described in the acts of the apostles 
Christian church, even Catholic church is being persecuted. Will we, will our faith hold this onslaught? Will we be proud to be his disciples and believe in him whom the Father has sent is a challenge to you and to me. May the Eucharistic presence help us to capture the spirit of the risen Lord in it. And may this Eucharistic presence enable us to see the presence of Christ in others. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. We lift them up to the Lord. It is right to give, let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat from it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Bala our Bishop, and all the clergy and people. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially for whom we pray at this Mass, and all those souls who have nobody to pray for, In the hope we pray for all of them in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to have you under my roof, but only say a word. My soul shall be healed.
almighty ever living god who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of christ increase in us we pray the fruits of this paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food we ask this through christ our lord the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit let us go in the peace and joy of christ thanks be to god